Hello my dear friends and today we continue to creating our pathway uh, in Rhino and Grasshopper. So in this tutorial, if you didn't watch the previous tutorials, please watch it before you will start to do uh, or watch this tutorial. So in this tutorial we are gonna uh, create the point which is will be following our uh, line. So here is our A point, here is our B, here is starting, here is finish, where so we will finish our um, our way. Uh, today we will gonna create the line, uh, the point which is will be uh, going uh, across this uh, pathway. And also this uh, point will be looking around and see um, the visual distance bit, uh, till the building. So I will show you how it's working. If you are ready, let's get started. So, so uh, what we need for this tutorial? Actually, we are already under the finish, not under the finish, we are on the way. We need now uh, continue to work with the, our uh, side wall, uh, short walk. Now we need evaluation, eval, so it's here, evaluation. And we need connect our um, we need connect now uh, our points our line I mean to the uh, to the expression. But before we will do that, right click and let's make it simplify. Once you will make oh not simplify sorry. It's not simplify and it is not uh, that uh, eval which I need eval. We need another one, evaluation. Let me will find it because this one it's not correct. We need eval. We need the evaluation curve. Yeah, now it's much right. Let's connect our curve to the curve, right click, and we need uh, reparameterize. So, what does it mean reparameterize? We need, uh, for example, we have the distance on this dot. We have like, uh, okay, the distance is uh, equal to the one kilometer, right? Okay. So, and uh, we, what we're doing? Zero, it will be zero. One, it will be final destination. So if you will be have the two kilometers, it still be, will be one. If you have 10 kilometers, it still will be one. It means uh, your, uh, your line uh, changing the mm, number to the zero till one. And I will show you how it's working. Now we need the slider. Let's use the zero dot and three zeros one. To get, uh, the, mm, to get the float number with three zero after the point. And let's connect it. And now let's have a look at the point. If I'm changing the position, you cannot see anything because we don't have our point. It's okay, we will change it. We we will change it. It's okay. So let me will use the tree tree. Okay, here is everything correct. Oh, here is zero point one. Let me will change the maximum distance. It's one. Let's say okay. And now yeah, now as you can see, the our point crossing the our line. When it will be one, it will be finished. When it will be zero, it will be start. It will be start. And as you can see, it's following now our line. Once I will change, for example, the distance. For example, let me I will go till uh, uh, my final destination will be here. It's still one will be finish, zero will be start. And as you can see, it's crossing exactly our line. This is what I want. Now everything okay, and uh, we can continue. If you remember, we are, we did uh, also the same thing with the building. As you can see, here is the um, the line from the, our building, and we will use it a bit later on, but we will. Uh, let me will delete this one. I bit optimize my code because right now it's uh, a bit messy. So what going on? What's going on right now? We need now the line again. Line L N. And now we need connect our uh, one line with another line. But before we will do that, we need to uh, get our invisible in I visit is a visit this one you will see what is that it's a really interesting thing let me connect points to the point nothing changing after that we uh, need connect to the object our object i'm not i'm not sure this is um, which one polyline p line yeah it's polyline it's here from the p 
to the O. Yeah, it's working. And as you can see, we get a lot of the different dots. What is that? Just hold on. Uh, we need after that count. Let me, I will select the count 50 and I will connect here to the numbers count. And as you can see now, you understand better what's going on. And now I want to get radius. Let me, I will see the radius 100 meter and connect to the radius. Now let me, I will explain. Here, let's say it's you. You on the way. You, you, you just following this way, going from the point A to the point B. This is you. This is one. It's the view range where you can see directly. For example, like that. Till this dot. Here's something like a building. Maybe this is kebab house. I don't know. Something else. And of course, your, your view range, it will be limited till here. Because this is, let's say, kebab house, uh, closing the what's going on uh, after that that uh, that house. The same thing here, as you can see, that's why we have the dot. So from this uh, point, it's going uh, the lines where you can see directly without any boundary buildings or maybe trees or something else. Uh, it's looking like that. Let me, I will show you how it's working visually. Okay, we did it. And now let me, I will connect uh, my point here to the B and point here to the A. And now you can see what I mean. Here, it, this is you. And this is point where you can see. Of course, you cannot see across this line because, let me, I will hide. I will hide it on like this because this is something here and this is the view closing but you will say um, why still I have dot here and here the reason is because our curve let me I will show you here is our panel let me connect P to the P and as you can see again this is the same thing it's not like one list it's again we have benches of lists as you can see Okay, so oh, let me will place here and I will create one more and here I will create the curve. Key C R V curve. Let me connect P to the curve, right click on here and let me exit flatter. And as you can see, now we get one list and let's connect this one list to the object. And as you can see, we get now much better situation. Now we, oh, now you can see uh, correctly, we cannot uh, see what's going on after this, let's say, kebab house again, and we cannot see what's going on after this building. And here the magic, once you will change your position, for example, somewhere here, you can, you can see directly, you cannot see what's going on uh, beside this building, but you still can see something uh, I should close this line because this line makes like mistake let me off now everything all right let me I will show you as you can see everything all right let's change position and as you can see once you're changing the position changing the um, changing the view range also you can change the view range by this radius or let's say 100 it's not enough for you let me I will change to to do 200 so the maximum should be changed by, by 500 and here let's make 200 mil like meters here is the meters actually and as you can see the line is changing the how much far you can see uh, be careful with the count number once you're making the count number biggest it's uh, taking the a lot of the resources from your PC be careful with that but once you're making it a lot, you can see more correctly where you can uh, the, the result of your view range. Because let me I will show you on this position. Now you see more correctly what you can see. But if I will make it around the 50, uh, here it's not so clear. Okay, so we are continue. Let's, let's say you don't like the lines and points, uh, you want to see like a um, hatch, like, a, like something like a zone. Uh, around your dot. You also, yes, you can, you're able to do that. So you need, for example, the P line, P line. This is polyline actually. And let's connect the P line to the V. 
we get something like a polyline, as you can see. Let me, I will hide, no, I not will hide this one, I will hide the points off. Here is our polyline, and here is the our closest. Yes, it should be a bit true. Also, we can do like this, right click and invert, and now it's closest. So, and we can get the polyline, as you can see. If you don't want a polyline, you also can use uh, any NURPS line. For example, uh, NURPS curve, this one. Let me, I will hide this one. And let's connect to the points. And as you can see, we get something like NURPS line, or oh, NURPS uh, polyline. And also you can make it, uh, what is that, sorry. Periodic, no, it's already closed, we don't need to close it. We can change degree of that. For example, now it's like, like a tree, let's make it 10, and let's connect to the degree, and as you can see, it's more going more more better. Or we can change it to the 2, because, uh, yeah, much better it's 2. And after that, you able, for example, you already have the curve, you can create the surface from the curve. Give me a second. We need the patch. Yeah, it's here. Let me connect patch curve. Uh -huh. Ah, it's not closed. Right click and invert. And as you can see, it's closed. And of course, you can change the color of that. So you can do whatever you want. For example, the mm, preview color. Custom preview. Uh -huh. This is one. Here. Let me, I will hide it, this one. And I will hide the noobs one. Not, uh, I'm not enable it, I just hide it. And now we need the, um, just the material. We need actually the color of the material. Let me will copy this one to better see what's going on. And let me connect here. We will use some better color. Mm-hmm. And some transparent. Okay, we did it. Now let's see what's going on once you're changing the your uh, your position. As you can see, changing the your view range. Now you are much understand what's going on where you can see exactly. Of course, if you will change your radius where you can see your view range will also will change. So in this tutorial, you are now clearly understand how to create the view range, how to a bit uh, visualize it. Uh, and yes, don't forget, if you will change your um, point destination, for example, somewhere here, right? Like this one. And yeah, this this that's what I said. Ah, sorry, this is I changed by Z. Uh, need change by V. And as you can see, Again, if I will change the parameter, and it, this is working perfectly. Okay, guys, in the next tutorial, we will continue to uh, create our view range. We will uh, make it much better than it's right now. Uh, we also will colorize everything by uh, to better understand where you can see a uh, really nice way is not. And uh, in the end, you will get really nice result with the animation preview. Thank you guys and see you next time.